If you let some food go to waste in your house, join the club. The Ag Department reports the average family here in the U.S. tosses out some $1,500 worth of food every year. Since most of it is produce, Consumer Reports came up with some tips to give your produce a longer life. Here's Jennifer Krauss. You know fruits and vegetables are good for you, but more than half the produce we buy ends up in the garbage. So what's the best way to keep food fresh and stop the waste? Consumer Reports tested seven containers, including the OXO Good Grips Green Saver for $20 and the Rubbermaid Freshworks, also $20. They were filled with raspberries, strawberries, baby leafy greens, and head lettuce. Testers also stored samples in their original clamshell containers. They were left in a refrigerator and checked regularly. The greens and the good grips held up well, and the strawberries and the Rubbermaid looked better than the others. But is it worth buying special containers? Overall, we found that none of the containers kept produce much fresher than the original clamshells. However, Consumer Reports says the refrigerator itself can make a difference. Produce that's stored in a dual evaporative refrigerator, one that chills the freezer and refrigerator sections separately, lasts longer. But any refrigerator can do a better job if you store foods in the right place. The best move is to store fruits and vegetables in low and high humidity bins in the refrigerator when you bring them home. For instance, broccoli and leafy greens should go in a high humidity drawer. And the low humidity drawer is the best for most fruits. And some produce should never go in the refrigerator. Tomatoes do best stem side down on the counter. Keep potatoes and onions separate because gases from the onions will cause the potatoes to sprout. Jennifer Krauss, News Channel 5. I feel like I need a bigger kitchen after all that. Bread will last you longer if you keep it in the freezer, not the refrigerator. Just take out what you need as you go along. It'll take just a few minutes to thaw.